Hello and welcome to Major English News, breaking all things breaking news regarding the English major. I'm Davis Blount and this is my co- Who are you? I'm Jacqueline Dunn. I'm English uh, Society's theater officer. I see. Well, Jacqueline, you're going to have to uh, get down to it. What are some announcements that we have for this week? This week we have the English Reading Series with Peter Nabokov, um, so come to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, creative writers, uh, InScape submissions are due October 15th, so be sure to get those in. And did you see the video for the Poetry Slam? Yeah. Did Shaleen get knocked out? Is that why you're... Must be, because I was just told to be here. So. Interesting, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there is a date change for that. Uh, the Poetry Slam will be hosted now, still at the wall, from 6 to 8 p.m. on Saturday, October 17th, so be sure to show up for that. Uh, additionally, I'm excited to welcome Kathy Cowley for this week's episode of My Story, uh, the weekly audio podcast hosted by the BYU English Society. So, Jacqueline, tell us a little bit about uh, what you all are doing within you know, the, the theater focus. The theater. So last month we went to Midsummer Night's Dream and we had a great turnout. It was super fun. So this month we're going to go to another play and we're going to see Sleepy Hollow at the Covey Center Theater on October 24th. And as part um, of BYU's English Society, we get a special discount when we all go together. So the tickets will only be $10. So mark your calendars. It should be a lot of fun. Awesome. That sounds like a can't miss. Jacqueline, we are so pleased to have someone representing something as prestigious as drama. Thank you. I'm pleased also to welcome Madison Driggs, the social media officer for the BYU English Society. And uh, Madison, I have a question for you. Uh, social media sucks and should not be used <laughs> in scholarly pursuits. Well, first of all, that's not a question. Second of all, um, your podcast wouldn't be here if it wasn't for social media. And to rebuttal your statement, not question, social media can be used in so many ways and as the English Society we're using it as a way to give content to you guys that you want to see online. So it's easy, it's accessible, and we're doing a lot of fun things with it. We have a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram, and a Pinterest, and all of those sites can be looked at under the BYU English Society and you can find content that you will love and enjoy. And this week we're actually having a contest six word stories. So if you tweet or Instagram or Facebook with this hashtag, we will find it and the winner gets a prize and the top 10 tweets will be featured on our blog. Ms. Driggs, that is most decidedly not how you spell word. Now the irony and the misspelling is not lost on me, but this is the best way to ensure that your tweets are seen. So make sure you hashtag word with a U. So what I'm gathering from this is even though social media stinks, major English news is the thing that gives it that credibility. Uh, tune in weekly to Major English News, breaking all things breaking news regarding the English major.